it is the most sensitive sensory organ mm -hmm. and that organ is filled with fluid. How much fluid? What's your guess? What's the volume of this inner ear fluid? It even has a fancy term. It's called paralymph and endolymph. There are two types of fluid, but that doesn't matter. What matters is the scale. So how much fluid do you think there is? I'm guessing the equivalent of one less than one drop out of, a, out of an eyedropper. That's pretty close. It's actually the equivalent of three raindrops. So about 140 microliters. So this is an organ that's amazing. It is the most sensitive sensory organ. It can detect displacements that are on the order of the diameter of a hydrogen atom. That's astounding. If you just think in terms of uh, electronic chips, the traces are now on the order of one nanometer, which is the size of five silicon atoms but the ear can detect displacements that are one-tenth of that. So at the angstrom level. Sub-angstrom level. Sub-angstrom. Sub-angstrom level. It's really phenomenal. And another example to really highlight the sensitivity of this organ, if you have a trained violinist, if they move their finger by only a micron, so that's a millionth of a meter, the ear can perceive that as a change in pitch. Amazing. You can't see that with your naked eye, but the ear can perceive it. So these examples really highlight how delicate this organ is.